Good afternoon, y'all, and welcome back to a very wet and cold Kentucky. So in our last video, we took you guys to do some very Kentucky things. We went to the Ark Encounter, and we went to the Kentucky Horse Park. Today, we're going to visit the thing that we think is the number one thing you should do when you come to Kentucky. We're going to the Maker's Mark Distillery. Mama is excited. Maker's Mark used to be my drink of choice. Then I started having babies and I haven't had a little date with old Maker's Mark in a while. So today I get to go taste it. She also gets to see how it's made, which is the important <laughs> part. We're going there to watch how it's made, not just to go sure. tasting, Alicia. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mama just wants a little sip of it. I, it's been so long. I can't even remember what it tastes like. I just remember I used to love it. I'm as excited as you were when you drove the NASCAR race car or you rode in it. Like, Oh, it's up there for me. You, like this is on my bucket list. Do you know how happy you just made me? Why? You just made a historical reference that is pretty accurate. Did you I? compare NASCAR and liquor. <laughs> I mean, they kind of go hand in hand or is it NASCAR and beer? I'm not sure. The or reason NASCAR exists is because they were hiding liquor. <laughs> yep, that's true. So who knew? I'm all about history. That's your history lesson for today. <laughs> who knew she was actually paying attention <laughs> on all these adventures? All right, we made it out here to the Maker Mark Distillery. And on the way in, I was telling Alicia, this is a beautiful drive. This would be a great place if you had a sports car or a motorcycle. And I think we were right. We're absolutely right. I think also we're getting like all these McLaren vibes lately. I don't know what that means, but maybe a McLaren in our future. Look, look at that cool car. Over there, also that red one. Also that red one. And that black one. Can you say McLaren, Ferrari? I don't know what Other Ferrari. Which one's prettier, Ashlyn? This one or this one? Oh man, I'm going with the Ferrari. Yeah, me too. I mean, I do love the McLaren. That, the tire looks like a star. It oh, does. Yeah. So we were right. This is a place you come driving. And these guys said, let's go drive our sports cars on these awesome back Kentucky roads. Look at that. That's a Ferrari hatchback. Porsche. I'm really sorry. I actually have no idea what this is, but it looks awesome. It says Morgan on it. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Look at this old Jaguar. I didn't know I was coming to a car show here at Maker's Mark. Look, another Porsche. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I got carried away. There's, there's cars in every row. So many <laughs> nice cars here. Also, the aroma, it smells like fresh bread, like yeah. fresh baked bread. So I don't know if it's the yeast or it's what. It's the fermentation, I bet. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Would you say that you're already impressed and you're not even here yet? I'm already impressed and for the 18th time, I'm excited. All of a sudden Alicia loves everything the tour guide is saying. Is this how normal people feel at regular museums? Like they're so excited to read yes. about it and hear yes, about it, it. Because I am genuinely interested in what he's saying and I've never felt this at a museum before. So good job. <laughs> this feeling you get is the way I feel about cars. <laughs> okay I get it now I get it. <laughs> Do we want to live in Kentucky? I'll come work here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll be the greeter. <laughs> I bet you'd be a great tour guide of this right? place. Right? <laughs> Let me tell you all the facts. We're gonna be here a while, folks. Buckle up. That's so cool. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Perfect. But whiskey she does not use in me. That is to pay homage to their Scottish and Irish heritage. And then our logo on there, uh, the S is for the family name. The star is for Star Hill Farm. That is the name of the property we are on right now. 
And then the IV, Bill Samuel Sr., fourth generation commercial distiller. Friends, we're going to head to our warehouse. Please do watch your clear. There's going to be a pop quiz at the end, Alicia. I'm going to make 100, and I'm going to get the bonus questions right. Hey, teacher's pet, did you know there's 1.1 million barrels of Maker Mark that's not on the market yet? It's crazy, right? Just aging. In these warehouses. That means we're good for generations to come. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff here is for the regular Maker's Mark. Right. Now we're gonna go learn what makes the 46 different. Ooh, the 46, that's a good one. in their glass come on now not okay <laughs> don't disrespect there's maker's actually, mark like that <laughs> there's actually a lot of them left <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. so which one are you getting Decisions, decisions. It's so hard to decide. But I will say, we have a regular Makers at Home and a 46. Thanks to our friend Ty, who always gives us a bottle when we go visit him in Big Ben, that I haven't been able to drink the last two years. So, I don't know that we necessarily need those, but definitely I want to dip my own one. So this is a way I've never seen makers look. Without the wax it looks so crazy but we get to go dip our own. We got two bottles. We went with the 46 and the candy apple. I don't think we could go wrong with either one. I'm sitting up. I mean I'm, I'm a little jealous. I've never got to put an apron on at the blue store. Do you want to do one? No. Aw come on. You're doing it. It's okay. your dream. This is like Christmas morning for me. I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi, I'm Alicia. Alicia? Yes. Dave. Okay, so Alicia, I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Okay. I'm gonna let you have all the bottles. Right? Perfect. So let me borrow one of those bottles, whichever one you want to dip the second. Have you hold the bottles just like that. Okay. And then support on the side. Okay. And then Alicia will dip down and let the pass this nut. Okay. So you go uh, out, level. Oh, okay. Yep. Spin, spin. Oh, spin. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna mess this up. Pop quiz. <laughs> what was the last step? <laughs> so there you go. All right. So in, out, spin, and down. How's it look? Oh. You want the next one to look just like that, or you want to do look something different? Let's do different. Different? What you want? Uh, what's my options? Well, really, you whatever you kind of think about. Like, do you want a whole bunch of drips? Do you want? I like long? the drips. Okay. The drips are fun for me. Okay. So you'll dip in. Same okay. technique. When you come out, spin, spin, nice and level, and real quick. Okay. Uh, so as soon as I pull it out, start spinning. Yep. Okay. So dip in. Oh, look at the there drugs. Oh, I love it. Here they go. Oh, okay, I see. So, oh. let's see. You're probably working with six of them now. You got six strips. Is six strips oh, good? Like six strips pretty good. <laughs> hey, don't pass off bombing line. We'll send that. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. Thank you. You're very welcome. That's You're awesome. Welcome. So, we just got done dipping our bottles, and we were with the best little dipper ever. His name is Ethan. Wait, 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 wait. Are we calling them little dippers? I mean, he's a little 
ever. <laughs> the best Big Dipper? I don't know. <laughs> the best dipper ever. How about that? And he gave us a little keychain. Look at it. He said it's a travel companion once we told him about our YouTube channel. Show the show show everyone at home. And his grandfather taught him how to carve those, so he gave that to us. So thanks again to Ethan and to everyone here at Maker's Mark. This was the best experience ever. I highly recommend it. The children are free and the adults really don't cost that much unless you come and buy two bottles of liquor. <laughs> she gives it two thumbs up. <laughs> So we've officially been here too long because I don't smell the bread anymore. <laughs> it's like the new car smell. <laughs> <laughs> you got in it one too many times, now you don't smell it, but it's still there, I'm sure. Yeah, I bet if we went in our truck for a little while and then got back out, we'd definitely smell it. What would be your favorite part of this trip to Maine so far? <laughs> <laughs> Not Maine? <laughs> hey, Kentucky, I'm looking at you. There was a lot of highlights on this trip, but for me, for sure, this has been on my list. And I honestly didn't didn't do any research on the the dipping of the bottles that you purchased through them, and I just assumed that it was going to be so unaffordable that like I wouldn't want to do it. But it's completely free if you buy the bottle there, and the bottle is the same price as what you would pay in a regular liquor store. So like, why not go dip your own bottle? It's so awesome. I loved it. If you don't drink bourbon, whiskey, whatever you want to call it, you should still come here just for the smell of bread. It makes so much sense now why I like Maker's Mark, because I love fresh bread and this smells like a bakery. Like you could come here and just smell the smells and it's amazing. <sighs> Morning y'all and check out these amazing views that we get to wake up to here in Kentucky every morning. That is beautiful. And speaking of amazing views, I found something that you guys are gonna to wanna to see, something I think you'll really enjoy. But before we do, I'd like to take this moment to thank today's sponsor and the sponsor of this video, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. Have you been wanting to upgrade your mattress? Well, good news. RVmattress.com is having one of their biggest sales of the year for Black Friday. So head over to RVmattress.com, but hurry, because when November ends, so do these incredible deals. So what is an RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding? Well, let me tell you. RVmattress.com is a Brooklyn Bedding brand known for top of the line comfort and quality. Plus they have a factory in Arizona and ship conveniently to you for free anywhere in the US. They offer different firmness options, heights and dimensions, even RV specific and non-traditional sizes to fit right into your lifestyle. I know what you're thinking. You're sponsored by RVmattress.com. Of course you're gonna say great things about their mattresses. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. Our mattress we purchased with our own money and we're telling you guys about it for over a year before they reached out to work with us. We went with the Signature Hybrid and the RV King because it fit into our master bedroom space and after three years of full-time travel, I can tell you, it's the most comfortable mattress we've ever slept on. So when it came time to upgrade the mattresses in our girls' room, it was a no-brainer to go with RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding. We removed the Happy Jack bed system, the toy hauler, and added a second queen-size bed, and we went with the Dream Foam with Central Mirror Foam in the 8-inch model because it allows our girls to have two queen-size beds, and it works well with the Happy Jack bed system when stored in the stowed position for travel days. We know buying a mattress can be a big decision. That's why Brooklyn Bedding offers a 120-night sleep trial and they back it up with a 10-year warranty. RVmattress.com delivers your mattress for free anywhere in the U.S. Plus, it comes rolled up in a box and is super easy to set up yourself. The best part about all this is that Brooklyn Bedding has their own factory in Arizona. That means they're able to use premium materials at a reasonable price with no middleman to bring up the cost. And we're not the only ones who love this brand. RVmattress.com's Dream Foam Essential Member Foam just won Good Housekeeping's 2023 Family Travel Award. Good job, RV Mattress. We love our RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and we think you would too. If you're in the market for a new bed, head over to rvmattress.com. You can check the link in the description below or go to rvmattress.com forward slash pave a new pass to get 25% off your new mattress with the code pave new pass. Now remember, rvmattress.com is having their biggest sale of the year for Black Friday. So head over to rvmattress.com, but hurry because when November ends, so are these incredible deals. Once again, thank you to rvmattress.com for sponsoring this video and their continued support of this channel. So what are we gonna get into today, guys? Well, that right there, that's amazing. And the drive yesterday to the Maker's Mark Distillery was also amazing. 
it doesn't hurt that Kentucky's really beautiful and we're also in fall so the leaves are changing but I found something even better than that right there and the drive we took yesterday do you guys want to see what it is all right guys there it is this is what I had to show you guys that right there is actually just a statue of Secretariat but it's also the start of one of the most famous Kentucky scenic byways this is the old Frankfurt Pike, and it runs from Lexington to Frankfurt, Kentucky, and it is one of the best driving roads I have ever seen. We got a little sneak peek on the way here, and it is beautiful. It's one of those winding roads through the rolling hills with horse farms on both sides. You got the canopy of trees covering the road, and right now it's fall, so the leaves are changing, and it is a great drive. It's an awesome drive. But enough talking about it, guys. Why don't I just show you? Start that music. Y'all hear that? It's time. It's time for an epic driving montage. y'all enjoy that epic driving montage we're still here look at this guy's barn his barn is bigger than most people's houses and he's got two of them and for someone like me who has never really seen the trees and the fall colors and all the different leaf colors like this is amazing just to see the trees but then on top of it you put all the horse farms and the horses and we've seen like two deer there's sheep there's goats like this drive is epic for sure this is the kind of drive that when you see like a infomercial about kentucky <laughs> this is the road they show you and this is one of the things they show you they do in kentucky this is a motorcycle road if you live in kentucky you better have a harley or some sort of sports car because this is this is not this is not the oil road like this like this is a side road this is not the scenic byway and this one is just as good as the one we just took you on every road here is an amazing driving road exactly the road getting here from the rv park was just as pretty once we got kind of off the main road like you just can't put it into words so i hope the video does it justice because we have really enjoyed this drive look at it look at all look at i mean there's it's it's, everyone's got a horse farm so beautiful and the trees <sighs> where's, I'm telling you. where's our horse farm kentucky <laughs> I haven't felt this way since New Hampshire. Y'all, <laughs> y'all got it going on. Kentucky, you are up there. You're definitely like a top five state. You got horse farms, you got bourbon, you got Corvettes, you make super duties, you make baseball bats. Right. Kentucky, I did not know you did so much. All the good things come from Kentucky. That should have been your state motto. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the RV park. You can see it's gotten much cooler as the sun's going down, but I thought it's time to give you guys a tour of where we're staying here in Lexington, Kentucky. So this is called Cummins Ferry RV Resort and Campground. And it's right here on the Kentucky River. And it is an awesome campground. One of the first things you're gonna notice is this campground is off the beaten path. It's about five miles from the main highway. And the first four is through a very small winding farm road. And the last mile is that right there. This is a one lane road into the campground. They have rules specifically about entering and exit the campground when your RV is hooked up. If you're here, you have to be out of here by noon. And when you're checking in, you cannot be here before two. That's because if two RVs ran into each other on this road right here, it would be a very big deal. This road right here is a very steep winding road into the park. And it has to be because it gets us right here on the bluffs on the Kentucky River. When you first pull in, you can tell they are very festive. Everything here is decorated for Halloween and we had a great time celebrating Halloween with them. They have a disc golf course and it runs right next to the Kentucky River. Right there is the Kentucky River and right below me is a trail. Right there is the trail that runs along the river. It runs the entire length of the park and it's about three quarters of a mile. There's not a dedicated dog park, but they have tons of green area and they provide trash bags and receptacles throughout the entire park. As you drive in on the main road before you get to the office, you come across their pavilion. So this is the pavilion. They have plenty of chairs for everyone to sit at. They have a fireplace. They also have a stage and they have live music every weekend. They have a food truck that sets up right there. And over here they have an outdoor sitting area with a fire pit. 
we had a great time here every weekend it was a blast everyone from the campground came over here enjoyed some food from the food truck and in some live music right here at the main office they have on-site propane filling and this is the main office this is where you check in they have a store they have laundry and they have a bathhouse and they have this amazing view you see when you first pull up The campground is a gated entry both in and out. One of the things I love is because it is Halloween, they've gone the extra mile and they've decorated the entire park with Halloween stuff, including the office where you check in. So this is where you have to walk into when you check in and they have the smoke going. They actually have guys in here that'll scare you. But here it is, you have to walk into a haunted house right now to check in. And right now, no one's at work, so it's closed. But these guys that sit right here, they're real guys and they will scare you when you come to check in. Laundry room and storage for Amazon packages. And this is the main community area looking over the centerpiece of this park. So they have a outdoor theater they set up for the weekends and we watch movies out here. There's another fire pit with a sitting area and you're looking at the Kentucky River and believe it or not, there is a waterfall right there. They have kayaks for rent to go on the river. They have a pool, but it's after Labor Day, so it's been winterized and it's closed down for the season. This is the playground. My kids actually loved it. They give it two thumbs up. As you're making your way from the office towards the RVs, this is another thing I love about this campground. They are very festive. They have everything decorated for all the Halloween festivities. And it's throughout the entire park. Check out that view. That is awesome. They also have this giant floating dock right here on the Kentucky River. As you make your way back here, you get to all the RV sites. So you have the back ends over here, pull throughs in the middle, and back ends over there along the river. Now, as you'll see, almost everything slopes that way. So everyone's RV, more specifically the ones on this side, are extremely hard to level. They're easier in the middle, and they get hard again over there because you're backing in again. So no matter what site you have, one side of your RV is always going to be higher than the other. Like this, for example. This guy's kingpin is above my head. All right, here is a good view of how sloped the entire campground is. So right there is the top of the hill, and it slopes all the way down to the river. And everyone on this side has an extremely hard time leveling without the front end being like four to five feet off the ground. Here in the middle, we're not as bad. And over there, it gets bad again because it's the opposite way. So the front end still has to be high to get it level. That's all their property too. And there is tons of trails throughout the woods. Bad thing is I took Buddy the first day we got here. And when I got back, we found four ticks on him. So we haven't been back in the woods since. And here is our site huge pull through site they actually have these really awesome dedicated parking spots for your truck so that right there that is not the sidewalk that is where you park your truck that's pretty awesome they had dedicated parking spots for the trucks we have full hookup here water sewer electric i will say the water pressure not so great even when no one's here the water pressure could be better the site itself is awesome uh, my ocd cannot handle the fact that these sites are actually curved so no matter what you do, you can never have your RV straight in the site. See, look at this. So the site is curved. So we just unhooked it and let it be, and it's good enough. Here's a better view of our site from the front. You can see how curved the road is. Overall, it's been a great stay. We have a picnic table and a built-in fire pit. So what do we pay to stay here? We paid $56.60 a night. This is a great park and a perfect price. This is actually the kind of parks we love. We also did some research and found out this is one of the first parks we've ever stayed at. If we stayed longer, it would have been cheaper. So we got half of our stay at a weekly rate of about $40 a night. And then the remaining days of our stay were at a daily night of $69 a night. So our average worked out to $56 a night. But had we extended our stay two more days and made it two weeks, we actually would have paid less to stay here more. That's why it's always good to do your research and look at the math and figure out if staying longer makes sense. In our case, if we just stayed two more days, we'd actually save money here. All right, so we're gonna do something new on our campground tours. Instead of telling you what I think about the place, I'm just gonna tell you three things I love and three things I hate. So first up, let's go over the things I don't like so much about this place. One is the internet. We have no cell phone service here. When you check in, they tell you the only way you can have communications with the outside world is to connect to their Wi-Fi and make sure your Wi-Fi calling is on. 
that's all good except for their wi-fi here is not great it's hit or miss it's so unreliable that you can't even check the weather or find out how far it is or how to get somewhere until you leave the park and it's about a five mile drive up the road back to the highway before you get cell phone service it's awesome that you can come to a place and have no connection to the outside world but if you're here more than just a weekend, you might want to have some internet that actually works so people staying here can enjoy things. The second thing I don't like is the entry. The entry, it's not bad, but it's definitely something, if it's your first time towing, that's not what you want to do for your first time. It's slow going and it's manageable, but it's a very tight winding road and it's one way the last mile and it's very steep. And the third thing is leveling your RV. Here in the middle, it's fine, but there's a lot of sites in this park where you can't be level unless you have about a foot to a foot and a half of blocks under your front jacks. The three things I love about this park one it's a beautiful park it's in a perfect location we love the scenery this is our kind of park number two it's a very well ran park when you check in there are tons of work campers they meet you at the gate they drive you to your site they help you get set up if you need anything they're driving in and out of this place constantly if you need something wait five minutes somebody will come by if you need firewood propane anything they will take care of it right away they even have a number you can call after hours and they'll take care of you too and the biggest thing this place was the most festive place we've stayed at in a long time we were here for halloween and the entire park is decorated the entire parks into it we had a great time our kids had a great time we enjoyed celebrating halloween here at this park we had a great time here in kentucky kentucky is a beautiful state i'm gonna say it's probably in my top five now of my favorite places i've ever been we hope you enjoyed hanging out with us and stay tuned because in our next video we have very special guests coming anyway we love you thanks for hanging out see you in the next one